Hello, welcome to AP Chemistry at Lake Forest Academy. My name is Carrie Seagram. This is my 23rd year of teaching at LFA, and I've been teaching AP Chem the whole time. And I apologize for not being there in person. I'm also the girls' cross country coach, one of the girls' cross country coaches, and um, we had a meet today, kind of a big invitational. So I'm not, I'm not able to be with you in person. Please feel free to contact me anytime if you have questions or concerns, anything like that, if you want to know a little bit more about the class. The class is composed of lab and also um, practice problems, try to throw in a few games here and there, maybe a little competition, something like that, to help get the kids excited, motivated. I, I flip the class, I do a lot of videos, they watch a 10 minute video that I make, um, kind of like lecture style, showing them, and they can see um, my handwriting on the Notability app, and then they come in class, and then we apply what we learn to do some practice problems. Um, I think it's a little bit more effective. I can actually watch them when they're doing their practice problems, and hopefully, if they're stuck on something, and they might have been stuck on it at home, I'm with them now. I can help them right on the spot. Let me tell you a little bit about the Canvas page. This is the Canvas page for AP Chemistry. You can see on the far right, this is a to-do list. This is a test student, so the to-do list has a lot of things in it that your students have already turned in, the blue dye lab, some homeworks, et cetera, et cetera. There's gonna be several more, maybe four, four more assignments before the test. The test will be a week from Tuesday. The mantra of the class is I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. I really, really, really want them to be active learners, physically doing all the practice problems. I, I ask them to please download everything onto their iPad before class starts so that when we're doing the problems, they're just writing them right then and there. I, I don't want them um, watching me do it and then just thinking they're going to remember because it just traditionally it just doesn't work that way. I can, I can just tell you that over the years. It, it just doesn't really work. There's been a very small number of kids that could just listen without doing and still do well. The um, office hours, I've got a few office hours throughout the cycle. The link to the textbook if they've lost it or whatever. Hopefully we'll have, won't, we'll not have to use the Zoom link, I hope, this year. The syllabus is connected here if you want to read through it. It's kind of long, but you're welcome to it. And some of the class rules and, and sort of the expectations for the class. The I do, we do, you do assignments. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Quizzes, AP Classroom, and then also the supplemental book pages are part of the cycle sheet. Cycle sheet's just right here on the front, on the home page. And um, I color code them according to the sections. I have three sections this year. Uh, a red section, the teal section, and the green section. They know which section they're in. If it happens to be a day that I'm teaching all three sections, then I just do it in yellow. And so for B day and C day, I have all three sections, so that's why that's in yellow. But then by the time I got to D day, it was starting to be different. Some classes was doing a lab, one was doing a, a, a lecture, and then another class didn't even have class that day, another section. So you can see it's, it's gonna be a variety after a while. Um, we can, uh, I can show you that I have notes for every section, like here it says watch unit 2.4 for structure of metals and alloys. So they'll watch like a 10, 15 minute video and then the next day we'll do a practice. And so for example, here's the practice for that section, structure of metals and alloys. And this section tells exactly what the College Board is expecting in terms of their skills that they should be learning in this section. And Finally, I have a bunch of practice problems. You can see that these are very similar to the type of problems that they'll see on a real AP test. I want to get them used to seeing these types of problems. And then I also sometimes have some FRQs, free response questions. Sometimes they're pretty short, sometimes they're longer, it kind of just depends. So it just gives them some a good practice with what, um, what they're going to be seeing later on next May. Um, eventually by next Tuesday, we'll be done with the, with all new material for unit two, and then we'll have a couple of days for practice. And then we're going to throw in another lab experiment, and then we'll have the exam. The exam will be Tuesday, October 3rd. All right. If by chance one of these hyperlinks doesn't work for the notes, they can always get the information directly from the modules. This is the unit two module, the lectures. You can see these are all the lectures. And then I also threw in a couple of extra pages of just kind of notes for people that want to go above and beyond. And maybe they're 
not sure about certain you know applications of VSCPR, then they can read this, watch, look at those notes as well. The I do, we do, you do's all have answers to them with uh, audio. The, these are these are the actual um, assignments. Again, if if it doesn't work, work, and I'll show you the audios in a second. Um, there's two lab activities that we're doing. They're linked on the on the um, cycle sheet, but if not, they can always find them here. Here's some some quizzes that we'll take throughout the unit just some quick quizzes like five pointers and then these are just additional practice problems if they really think gosh i, I sure wish i could use um, do some more practice then no problem i will give you more practice and most of them i have linked also a um a set of answers for most of them i have the answers as well so these are some practice multiple choice and then uh maybe a couple of frqs at the end and then if it's got underscore KC, that means it's my answer key. And I try to put make the answers have some kind of explanation of why the other ones are wrong. Like these, this problem I'm kind of going on and on about um, the type of intermolecular or uh, intramolecular bond. And um, so I kind of try to give them a little bit uh, more of an explanation so that they can understand how I got the right answer and how the other answers are wrong. And of course, they can always ask questions because we have class time for that too. Underneath that is unit two recordings. This actually is all of my notes recorded. And, and by recorded, I mean through notability, there's a recording option. And then so they can watch me write out everything I'm talking about they can hear me talk about it and they can see me writing it. So it's, it, I think it works pretty well. The I do, we do, you do's have all the answers with audio in case they're not sure. If they're working on their metal metals and alloys and they don't understand how I got an answer, they can just tap the section and then it'll start, talk, I'll, you'll start hearing me talk and explaining it. If they still don't understand it, then they can just talk in class. But I really want them correcting their own papers. They're going to learn more. If I correct it, a lot of times they just look at the grade. They don't really look at the corrections. This way they have to correct it. And they'll correct it in a different color, which gives me an idea. Aha, a lot of people got this one wrong. Maybe I better go over this in class, for example. And then there's some more extras in the um, with that are notability files as well, if they want to get a little bit more practice. The grade book is... Um, this is a test student, so that's why these are all missing. But you can see that there's no grade. It just says missing. Um, the, the circle with the with the, the eye with the slash through, it just means that I haven't posted the grade. I have to physically go in and click a button to post them. Sometimes I wait until everybody's finished the assignment. Sometimes I, I um, post the grades right away. It just so, sort of depends. Um, and so, yeah, you can see all the grades. There's a lot. You know, we have a lot of assignments. The kids do have a lot of work, but they're usually pretty short assignments. That about covers it. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Thank you. Very interesting. Very interesting results. Very interesting. Hmm. Mm. We can write it. Yeah, we, we can write it.
our lab report. Yeah. Yeah, our, our lab report. report. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need at least one double bond.